As this clip begins, Thomas Ravenel is engaged in a touchy defense of his own integrity. He then quickly launches into a series of dismissive remarks about John Rainey, the head of the State Board of Economic Advisors. Sterling record, and pay, I pay my bills. Okay. I, I didn't read this closely enough um, as we came in here. I'm not going to read it. No, well, yeah. there's not much there. Um, I, just, I thought it was tax lynch. It's just like John Rainey's letter. I didn't, I didn't even read it. You yeah. could read the first two paragraphs. No. Nah. That would pretty much be it. Then it's yeah. the same. Yeah. I don't want to have someone lecture me on the etymology of whatever word I used improperly. No. I mean, the governor doesn't even return his phone calls, though. So Does return, it return to the if you don't mind if I yeah. step in? What has this accomplished? At the beginning, you thought it would be good to debate him. Well, I didn't know what I was dealing with. Now that I know what I'm dealing with, I'm just going to do like everyone else does and just ignore him. I really had no idea what I was dealing with and what I was stepping into. So I'm just going to ignore him. I, I, I think I just broke my own rule to ignore him because that's everyone writing. <laughs> You know, as Jim Davenport told Rod Shilley today, you know, Thomas Ravin, he's really too forthright. He's too open. He's not much of a politician. And that's something coming from a, from a, from a good digging reporter like Davenport, who, yeah. who wants to know everything and everybody. Yeah, he said, that well, guy's really open. It's just, I'll, I'll be honest.